Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my dog Jack that I will be drawing today and showing you how to do scale using a, a grid. So then what we are gonna do is pick a picture. In this case it's a square, so it's easy to make a grid with tiny squares that we will change depending on the size of our picture. But now if we see this diagram, we can see that we have 12 columns and 12 lines. That way we can know that X equals height and width. Then we can translate that to the paper size, the width that we have of our paper size, that we divide between 12 and then we will have the same height, dividing it into a grid. We can see here that we can have our paper. We have divided six inches by six inches and to divide it that way, we will have to have 12 between six inches. Easy one, it's the same as half an inch. So we will mark every half an inch to make the rows and the columns. Then after that, we can just mark our lines and also number them so we are more secure or where we are drawing. Right here, for example, we can see that I am moving around in eight, three, and different, the row with the column just following it around. We have to learn not to follow what we think the shape is, but actually observe the shape that we are following. And this is a good technique because you divide the whole image into small squares and you can really analyze the shape of it. Remember to go back and forth looking at the numbers of the rows and the numbers of the columns to know that you are in the correct, correct spot. And also, if you make any mistakes, you can go back with your eraser and just fix it really quickly. This is a really nice exercise to relax because you just have to follow where the grid takes you. It's a little bit like when you're in a coloring book and just coloring in the lines. Here it's a lot of observation and you have to be focused but also it's kind of relaxing. There's nothing wrong to go back and forth in a line. So that way, when you're sketching with little lines, you're not really committing to a final line until you have it completely certain in the spot you want it. So like I say, you can go back with your eraser 
and change the lines. Now we can erase the numbers and after this, to give it life, after having the sketch, I am gonna watercolor to give color, light and shadows to it. So at this point of the video I will like to make it more relaxed and just let you see with some music how Jack becomes himself.
and here we have it. Thank you for watching and if you like it, please subscribe, also press the notifications so you can see when my video comes every week and also give me a like and a comment. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye bye.